Hi everybody. Thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog. Okay, so I'm completely sweaty already. Whew, like sweaty. Um, Cause I've been in here all over 45 minutes already. Uh, Cause I had to do a reading. I am, um, you know, psychic medium, clairvoyant, clairaudient, all that stuff. And so sometimes when I do phone readings, I like to do them in my sauna. And um, I guess it's just whew, really connects you to the universe. I got on my trusty dragon crystal amulet. Anyway, so today is the last vlog about the universal laws. So I've been talking about it for quite a while. The few um, other things uh, sprinkled in, but. Um, this law is a really, it's really more fine tuning, you know, where some of the laws are very obviously be positive and you attract positive. Okay. That's pretty straightforward. This, like the law of red relativity and some of the other laws are more subtle in understanding, but very important. This is the law of gender. And this is a really interesting concept because I am of the belief that the soul is genderless. And when we come into this dimension and incarnate here, we take on the role of a gender. So I need to do some meditating on this law because I want to be able to understand the concept fully, but basically says that everything in the universe has a yin and a yang aspect to it. Okay. Just like the yin and the yang symbol, they intersect and form the whole, right? So there's a lot of division in our country right now. And a lot of it has to do with gender and gender issues. And I would say that there are people that, um, are afraid of anything that is not specifically in line with what gender specific, um, issues may be. And they have a real fear of deviating for, from anything else other than that. And then there's other people though, the other extreme that are so forward about the gender aspect that that becomes their most prominent, uh, issue. It's, it's still out of balance is what I'm trying to get at. Okay. So coming to a place of balance on gender and gender understanding and gender feelings within your own self and outwards to the world and not just in, you know, human beings and male and female, but in every aspect of life and energy, you know, it's, it's once again, the balance being in balance has to do with that law It's very similar, but it's more specific. And then it has to do with the yin and the yang principles. And there are, um, character traits for each of these that have some alignment with the masculine and feminine, um, typical character traits that you see in male, and female. Okay. But they work together as a whole. And when you're out of balance, one side or another, you can't really manifest properly. Your manifestations become imbalanced. Right. So it's once again about the, the, the use of the energy and how you process energy while you're incarnated here and how you manifest it out to the world so that it comes back in a proper form of what you're wanting to attract. Okay. Oh, very cool. Okay. So now we've covered all 12 spiritual laws. And so what I'm going to do next time, is I'm going to go over them all one by one, just real quick in five minutes and really seal this information in, you know, we can do some tapping or some, you know, mantras at the end that really seals this information into our subconscious. So in, when we, if we have it, bring it into our con subconscious mind and it becomes a knowing within us, then that's how we behave all the time. Okay. And if we begin to deviate and, or forget in our conscious mind, the subconscious will bring us back to path. You know, you'll have that gnawing feeling like, Oh, I got to remember to do this. And then of course you can always go back and look at these videos again. You know, I do that because I, I want to remember 
How do we make the most of the energy, the heavy energy of being incarnated in this planet and in this dimension? Right? A lot of people that are incarnated here have such trouble because they're not used to incarnating in such a low vibrational place where everything's dense and solid. Okay? I'm dripping. I'm just literally soaking wet. Like, whew. I've been in here almost like an hour now. <laughs> it's fantastic. I need to drink more water though. Okay, so now I'm going to meditate. I'm really happy that people stuck with this and I hope people take this to heart and look at it over and over again. Really, really, really change their lives for the better because if you raise your vibration, everybody around you is affected by that in a positive way. Right on, baby. Okay, so blessings to everybody out there and please let me know if I can be of service. Please subscribe so that I can be in contact and you can be in contact with me. It's so easy and it just click the button and you'll get all my content. All right, so... Blessings again and...